Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle, and basically in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a what's in my backpack and emergency kit. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna be showing you guys everything that I have in my backpack, and then my little like emergency kit for school that has all of the things that you might need. Cause like, you never wanna be in school and like need something and not have it with you. That's the worst type of pain. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I have in my backpack. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe for more new videos and let's get started. So I'm just going to start off by showing you guys like the backpack that I actually have and like all of the details about my bag. So this right here is my backpack and I don't know if you guys can see but this is the like Nike Jordan Air backpack. I'm pretty sure that this is from Nike but you can also get it from other sports stores like Foot Asylum, Sports Direct, shops like that. So yeah, this is basically what my backpack looks like. It's just black and then it has like the Jordan Man logo on it. And then the bottom of it just says air. And it has like one pocket here and then like it has its main pocket around here. And a little side pocket for you to put your water bottle in. So yeah, those are the details about like the bag. I'll try and link the bag down below in the description if you guys want it. Because I know this bag in particular is quite popular. Now let's actually start off with what's in my backpack. Okay, so first of all, I just have a book, which is like the books our school provide for us. So this is just like an example. Obviously, I'm going to have more books in here, depending on how many classes I have that day that I need to bring my book in. But this, for an example, is just my child development book. This is like the front of it and it's just a pink book. We use this book for child development to take our like notes and stuff in there. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. This is just one of our school books. Next, I have this like paper wallet organizer they call it a display book though and this is from home bargains i actually got this last year in my back to school supplies shopping and haul so this basically has like a ton of plastic wallets in it where you can keep like all of your loose sheets of paper that you get in class so it's just pages and pages of wallets like this where you can slot in your paper so yeah anytime that i get like any loose sheets from school and i don't know where to put it i'll just slot them in here and I've labelled each page to be a different subject so I can just be more organised with all of my pieces of paper. Next up I have this notebook and this notebook is a pocket pad and basically I use this for like my revision notes so I don't always take this to school but if I know that we might do revision in class then I'll take this with me. So on the sides it has like these slots where you can slot in the names of each subject because they're like dividers. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already written in this already. Let me just give you guys an example. And yeah, and here I just write like all of my notes. Like here I did some like chemistry revision. So these are like notes or revision that I take outside of school. Just so I can kind of keep it separate from my other notes. This is kind of random, but next to my school bag, I actually have a mini fan. I usually bring this in if it's going to be hot or if we have pee and I know that I'm going to need it after. So yeah, I got this from Timu or Temu or however you say it. It's just a pale pink mini fan and this is like battery operated so it's super easy to like take around with you anywhere. Next I have my pencil case which came with like the Jordan backpack but yeah this came with it and it also has this like attaching thing that you can use if you want to attach it to your bag. So yeah it just has the same like Jordan logo on it and I have a lot of stuff in here. I think I might do like a mini what's my pencil case as a YouTube short that I'll post after this but I'll just quickly show you guys some of the stuff that I have in here. First of all, we have some highlighters from Wilco and I have the pink, orange, blue and purple one. I love like highlighting my notes and all of that stuff because it kind of like romanticizing studying or whatever. So yeah, I use these four colors for all of my notes and these are from Wilco, but you won't be able to get them anymore soon because Wilco is closing down, which is actually so sad, but yeah. Next, I have these pens, which I got in my haul, the back to school supplies and shopping haul. And these are from Tesco. They are the Z Grip Smooth Pens. These are literally the best pens ever. And I really hope that I don't lose these this year because these pens are literally so good. I just have a spare black ballpoint pen in there, which is from Wilco. Then I have this pack of four different colored pens, which are also from Wilco. Can you just tell that I love Wilco? So I have the pink, the orange, the purple, and the blue. 
This actually came in like a bigger pack with a lot more different coloured pens. But these four are really the only ones from the pack that I actually use because they match with my highlighters. So because they're kind of the same colours, I can make better notes with them. Then I have some mechanical pencils and these are from Wilco. I think they were in a pack of like 10 and then I shared five with my sister and then five for me. I actually used to have like two more of these. I don't know where they went. I think one of them I lost and then the other one broke. But yeah, I was so sad when I went out from my school shopping and I couldn't find any more mechanical pencils because I didn't actually know that I had these at home. So it's actually good that I didn't find any because then I would have bought more than I needed. But yeah, I definitely prefer mechanical pencils over normal pencils. They're just way better and you don't have to sharpen them. So yeah, I just have three of these to use whenever we need them in class for drawings and stuff. Then I have some extra pencil lead for my pencils. Just in case the lead inside my mechanical pencils runs out, I can just open this and pop a new one in. So this is really useful. And these are like 0.7 millimeter ones. I don't remember where this is from, but I think it's from Amazon probably. Then I have some more pencils. These are just like the normal pencils that everybody has, like the basic school ones. And I didn't know that I already had pencils at home. If not, I probably wouldn't have bought these. And these type are the ones that you have to actually sharpen, which is why I don't really like them. But it's what it is. Then I have the glue stick, my trusty prick glue stick, because I don't want to be borrowing from the school's musty like glue sticks. Like I just hate using the school's ones. Like imagine how many hands have touched that. So yeah, I'm just gonna be trying to bring my own. Then I have this ruler and this is from Walco. It's just one of those ones that like fold in half so that you can fit it into your pencil case easier. So this is like a full 30 centimeter ruler. I have a pair of scissors for any like cutting activities that we need to do in class. And these are from Wilco. Then I have some rubbers. So this one is from Tesco. This is gonna be like my main rubber. Then I have like an extra one, which came with that pack of pencils. And then this is like one of my favorite things. I have this Tipex mini pocket mouse. And this is for whenever I make a mistake, I can just like put this on top of it and just like white out. And then I can just write on top of it what I was meant to write. This is so helpful because I make so many mistakes while I'm writing. So this always comes in handy. And I think this is from Wilco. It came in like a pack of three. Then I have a protractor in there as well, just in case I need it for maths. And yeah, that is basically all that's in my pencil case. But yeah, let's move on to what is next in my backpack. I can't like show you guys the front of this because it has my school on it but this is my school planner that my school like provides for us so it has like my schedule this is my old schedule from year 10 that has like all of my classes on it so on the back it has all of the like class schedule and then inside you can like write homework and stuff like here for example for each subject you have a space to write homework and the due date and then like notes and stuff down here so yeah, our school gives us a new one of these every single year. Then I have a reading book to read in form because they always tell us to bring a book for form. I don't know why, but I just bring this just in case I get asked like, where's your book? This is Variety by Colleen Hoover. Literally such a good book. We also have my glass of case in here, which is from Sheen. And this is one of those cases that they put like all their sunglasses in. So I just replaced it and instead I use it for my reading glasses. And lastly in that, I just have one of these Casio scientific calculators, which I usually use in maths or science. Okay, that is all that's in like the main big pocket of my bag. And now we're going to go into the front pocket and all that's in there is my emergency kit. So I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my emergency kit for school. So this is my emergency kit right here and the like bag itself is from Home Bargains. It's meant to be like a pencil case but it's really big so I thought why not use it as my emergency kit instead because I already have a different pencil case that came with my bag. So yeah this is what it looks like we're just going to get right into what is inside. First of all, we just have some tissues. You never know when you're gonna need some. If you need to like wipe your nose if you have a cold or something, or if you need to wipe something, I always have some tissues with me. Next, we have some lip gloss, and I just got this lip gloss from like the hair shop, I think. I usually keep one in my blazer, and then I'll have an extra one in my emergency kit, just in case I lose the one in my blazer, or I need an extra one. Then we have a hand cream. This is from Kath Kitson, because you never know when you're gonna be ashy and you just need some hand cream with you. 
a hair tie from PE. This is from like the hair shop. It's one of the like extra long ones when I have braids. Like I'm getting my hair done for back to school. So I'll show you guys what that ends up looking like when I get it done. A mini mirror. This one's from Boots and I usually keep one in my blazer, but I'm going to have an extra one in my emergency kit just in case I lose that one. Next, we have some hand sanitizing gel just to use like before I eat lunch. Even though we think COVID is gone, there's still germs literally everywhere. Like school is such a germy, disgusting place. We also have pads because you never know when you're going to need some in school. This is for my girls, like literally always take some with you. I have one of those like Vicks inhalers that you use or when you have a cold to like clear your nose just in case my nose gets stuffy because that can be super annoying I have a mini perfume from M&S this is the pink pepper one I don't know if you guys can see the front of it but this smells literally so good because yeah you never know when you're going to need a quick spritz of perfume because you don't want to be smelling bad in school like no okay then we have some Carmex lip balm I really love this lip balm it's the cherry flavoured one then we have some extra gum in the Cool Breeze flavour. And lastly, I just have some cotton buds and some hairpins. So yeah, that is all that's in my backpack and emergency kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that all of you guys have like a good school year this year. I'm going back September 7th, I think. So I'll definitely be doing a get ready with me for the first day of school. So yeah, have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Hey, truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do I know?